Olivia and I are not proud of this. This will change the course of everything. I don't have to see my face when I say this. I'm, I'm cheating. On keto. Olivia is also cheating on keto. We can't take it anymore. It's been a month. We've been fine. Everything's been fine. I lost 10 pounds. She lost 11 pounds. That's fine. I'm taking a cheat day. Please don't think less of us. We're not proud of this. Let's go. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Tuesday. Oh, the lens is so dirty. Okay, I finally cleaned the lens. Welcome to Tuesday on Mid Milano Flock. Our coffee is taking inordinately long this morning. I don't know why, but that's what's happening. We've already got a uh, level two situation in the living room for making memories, and that's what counts. We have Peppa Pig on the TV, and we have laundry in the washing machine. I also need to try and figure out what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, because I'm very hungry. I just restarted the coffee process because, I don't know what happened, but there was like no water in it. We don't want another fire. How many fires have I set this year? Three? Hmm. We don't need four. How cute is my outfit right now? It's like I never left the beach. Got a seaside shirt on and wearing Lily Pulitzer pants. Peppa? Peppa? Say Peppa. Ikea Ektorp sectional review. No, disassembly. <laughs> disassembly. We are washing the covers. So those are all of our cushions don't and look. we take all the covers off. Don't look between the couch cushions. Just don't, just don't look. Well, no one should look between anybody's couch cushions. That's, That's not, not fair. It's not great. It's just dirt. Dirt don't hurt. I mean, look. Don't, don't, don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> I'm editing this later. I won't show it. We haven't done the whole couch cover yet since we moved in, which is fine because they're usually covered by the cushions. Here, you hold this. I'll keep going. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the whole couch today. Looks like a pediatrician's office in here. Yeah, Disney movie on TV. 
Yeah. Got a little Izzy Town thing going on. And a teething baby. She knows that song. So real talk moment. I have been thinking about something for a long time. Since I've become a parent, I am starting to realize different things about myself. And I know that if you're a parent and you're watching this, you probably feel the same way and you're like, yep, she hit that point. But I'm realizing more and more that Parenting is an island, and it can be very, very lonely. It's the most wonderful time of my entire life. These last 11 months have been so amazing. You start realizing who's there for you, who's loose change, who doesn't kind of factor in anymore. And it's not even that we're like in different stages of life. It's just people don't really get it or understand. And I hope that like through making this vlog, I, I would find community and people who are in the same place, who are interested in the same things, who have the same values and things like that. I feel like this is a very difficult time that we live in because we're also digitally driven and most of our friendships aren't as tangible as they once was when internet wasn't around. I mean, yes, are you able to meet people across the planet that you can connect with and have these wonderful relationships with? Absolutely you can. But on the flip side of the coin, do you know if they're real? You know, like you can have a thousand likes on a picture, but of those thousand likes, if you were in a tough spot, could you call any of them? So as I think about this, I just think about how I could make genuine connections with people, regardless of how well this channel does or how well our videos do. I want to feel like I'm putting something out in the universe that my daughter can look at in years to come and be proud of me for going after something that I deeply feel is important and I feel like sharing, you know, our lives and our tribulations and our happy moments and things like that are important. And that's why I've started doing like the Mama Milana like aside videos because I feel like with at least my experience with breastfeeding, it was something that I looked for when I was pregnant because I didn't know anybody in my life that did any of the things that I have now done. And there's no right or wrong way to do them. It was just a path that I took and I was looking for guidance and I found it online. So with that being said, I think I need to really start putting myself out there more and connecting with people that can share their knowledge with me and in part I can share whatever experience I have with them and build a community and we can just like build a library to all of the shared knowledge that we could have together. I think us as moms need that. We need just a compilation of knowledge because if one mom has been through something and another mom was going through it, it'd be great if, if they could get like that little like nudge or that push or that confidence boost that I think we so desperately need. You know, I'm kind of sitting here in my house with the bomb went off and it's awesome. I'm happy that my house is in shambles because I know that my daughter is enjoying herself and that we're taking the time to make sure that she's, you know, creating and moving and learning and all of those things that she needs to do to develop to be a great person. I think I need, or we all really need, to lessen the responsibilities on parents to be perfect all the time um, because it's not that easy. Just 
feeling my way through it all. So, if you stumbled across this video, like I say in every video, if you stumbled across this video and you're looking for just a helping hand or a shoulder or really anything, I want to be that person for you if you could be that person for me. Daniel and I are so passionate about this and he is such a great supportive, loving, wonderful husband and father. And he does such amazing things with this vlog. And I'm so grateful that I hope that it's reaching people that want to see it. So there's my rant for the day. If this makes it to the video, cool. If not, cool. But this was my therapy session for me. <laughs> Take a nap. So, true story. Daniel and I have been sitting here for approximately 20 minutes discussing if we were to cheat hypothetically, what we would get how we would get it, if it would be worth it. We could loosen the reins a tiny bit and maybe feel better, or just completely blow it out and go back to keto tomorrow morning. We are a month and a few days yeah. into this. We haven't had one cheat day. There's not been one day where I can count my carbs and say, I've gone over. There's not one time that I can say, like, we overdid, you know, sugar, because we haven't, we've been using fake sugar. I'm okay with the one-time option, I think, Expanding our diets to like, you know, bread and stuff. As low carb of bread as we can get is a slippery slope to us saying, well, if we're doing this, we can do this. If we're doing this, we can do this. And then we're just back to where we started. I'm down like 10 pounds. I'm quite happy with it. I just don't know how much one afternoon of cheating would do. If the keto myths are true, like it'll put you, set you back like four or five days. Will it make me gain all the weight back immediately? I don't think so. You have to take into consideration like a bunch of keto weight loss. A bunch of keto weight loss is water. It's bloat. So we're gonna bloat. If my if my weight gain from this is so minimal that it's like two pounds, and yeah, two pounds is a lot, but two pounds for me to have like one like decent night where we could eat. I mean, we've been having decent meals, but like, where I could just not just really guilty give, yeah, where I could just not care. And it's been a month, like our one month treat. If we can do a one month treat every month. I don't know if I want footage of this. <laughs> not even sorry. Hi everybody, I'm in a food coma and I feel sick. I don't regret it. I slightly regret it. Are you real? Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching us go back on promises that we made to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but we're only human and I feel fairly confident that I can jump back on the bandwagon tomorrow. That's just what oh, I needed. I, just needed, I a... needed like a reset. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.